All right, let's continue building our AutoBlock Extractor plugin. In this video, we're going to design the form. So let's get started. From the project folder here, right click and select on Add and choose Windows Form. We're going to call this as Block Extractor Form. Let us resize accordingly and do some changes on the form. So first, let us just provide some space on the label here so that will appear much better. And the start position will be center screen. And the maximize box set to false. And let us name our form as yeah block ex uh, block extractor form. Okay, so let us start adding some controls. First, let me just grab a container here, a group a group box container. This will be used to store all our browse and text box as well as the list box let me just get rid of the text here all we need is the, the outline and now let us start dragging controls this will be the drawing path label and next the text box this will be our path let us provide a default value of temp in my case uh, my test drawings are stored in this folder so i just put a default here you can change it accordingly depending on your the drawing locations and this will be called as txt path okay next let us drag a button control here this will be btn browse folder and change the text to browse okay next we are needing a list box but since we are allowing the user to select multiple or uh, single items from the list box instead of selecting the list box here we will be needing the check list box okay that is the distinction between those two controls so the check list uh, list box allows the user to select multiple items from this list box let us call that as uh, chk lst dwgs let me just change the back color for that to something like this one here the corn silk or something like that and then uh, we need to add another checkbox control that will serve as a kind of a controller for all the items in here if they decided to either select all or unselect all so just the regular checkbox here and let us change the label here or the text to select all and the name would be chk select all and next let me just drag another group box this will be for the 
the block let's just get rid of this text here and we will be needing a label control enter block name to extract and then the list box uh, I mean the text box so let's call that as txt block name okay and then let me just change the back color to maybe uh, light green or something and then the group box here change the back color to uh, orange okay next we need to provide the user with the label for the status so let's drag one more label here and the name for that will be LBL info and the text would be initial text would be process info and finally the button control so drag one button control here and the text would be process block extraction and the name of that button control would be oops btn extract block blocks okay and change the font to bold true there you go so this will be our form okay in the next video we're going to code we're going to complete the code uh, behind this form so let's just do a quick analysis on this form we have a total of five controls I mean five events that's coming from the controls in here the first one is the form load the second one is the browse for the folder where the drawing files are located the third one is the event when the user select uh, decided to select uh, individual items in this list box and the fifth one the fourth one is when the user select this checkbox to either select all or unselect all and the fifth one would be the button control here when the user clicks on this then we will handle the code behind it so that's it we have five events and that is what we're going to do in the next video i'll see you there